Today's parable is, and yes, we are still in parables. We're getting, we're getting to the end, but we're still in parables. Today's parable is the parable of the prodigal son, and it's in Luke 15, starting at verse 11. It goes all the way to verse 32. I'm not going to read the whole thing for you, but if you look in the description of this video, you will find the text for this parable, and you can read it word for word yourself, or look it up in your Bible or uh, on your Bible if you use your phone. Um, regardless, so here's how the parable of the prodigal son goes. Here's a little bit of a paraphrase. Um, so there's this this man has two sons, and the younger son says to the father, um, I want my inheritance. Give me my inheritance. And he gets his inheritance, and he leaves, and he goes, and he spends it all frivolously. He, he spends everything he has. Um, and he he is then in need because he doesn't have anything anymore. And he's in kind of this uh, foreign foreign land. He has no support system, and, and he spent all of his money. Um, and he has, he has nowhere to go. And then he kind of remembers. He thinks back, and he's like, the servants in my father's house lived better than I am now. So I'll go back, I'll beg for his forgiveness, I'll beg to just be like one of his servants, um, and that's kind of, that's how he decided he would he would go forward. Um, and he goes to his father, and, and he says, you know, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Here it says in verse 21, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. And the father stops him, and the father says, bring the best robe, uh, my son, who was lost, who was dead, has been found, he is alive, we're celebrating. Um, the older son is in the field, and he hears that this is happening, he hears that the, the calf has been slaughtered, that this party is being thrown for his younger brother, um, and he refuses to come in, and, and his father comes out and tells him to come in, and uh, he closes with, the father says to this son, son, you are always with me and all that's mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad for this your brother was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found. And there are so many lessons in this parable. I could I could preach a sermon on it. I could preach a couple sermons on this parable. Um, I could do a whole series of devotions, but we have less than two and a half minutes left. So we're going to, at its core, this parable is about the kingdom of heaven. And about uh, how how we celebrate the lost being found, how God welcomes it. We're, we're given these gifts of God, and we squander them and we waste them, and and there's nothing we can do to support ourselves. So we we go before God and we say, like, I I can do nothing before you. I cannot redeem myself, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And God welcomes us back with open arms. He gives us the robe of his righteousness. There's there's some really cool imagery here. Uh, he gives us the robe of his righteousness. And he says, we're going to celebrate because you are back. You are mine. And there is a temptation to be like the older son, to see people who are coming into the faith and say, well, wait a second, they've like they're too far gone. Or they've been so wasteful. And it's like, no, we're 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 celebrating. That this person has passed from death into life. And um, so kind of some takeaways from this are first, we approach our God with humility. We confess that we have sinned against him. But we, we know that he is always going to receive us as the father received the son in this parable. That he is always going to receive us with open arms, with love, with forgiveness for where we have transgressed. Um. So that is our, our lesson for today. God found us when we were far from him, and we're in no position to begrudge his grace to others, uh, no matter how unworthy they appear to us. So um, that is our lesson for the day. That is our parable for the day. Again, that is Luke 15. You can find the text below. Brothers and sisters, go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.